Hello there. Hey yo, what's up? Oh damn, it's your, oh, it's your boy Ali Moses, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we are back with some Buffy. Sorry, I was just vibing to some tunes today. Yes, my hair is a mess. I just got back from the gym and I'm going to see Jurassic World Dominion after this recording as well. It surfs up on my hair today, so allow it. But yes, today, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, episode 5 of season 4, titled Be Bad, I think. It's titled Be Bad, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, Be Bad. Um, I think it's time this season finally picks up, hopefully. Um, I had a lot of fun in the first four episodes. There's a lot of fun to be had, especially the last episode, the Halloween episode. It was pretty fun. It was pretty fun. Um, but I think it's time the season starts picking up a little bit even angel is still finding its feet because that's season one you gotta allow it but buffy being in season four i think the main storyline uh after episode four needs to start kicking in a little bit let's see if we get some teasers but anyway to boy ali moses your 22 year old law official in sydney australia baby shooting his shot if you enjoy the content make sure to like share and subscribe let's get it to all the buffy fans out there in the world but yeah hopefully you're doing well around the world Let's get right into it. Be bad. I really hope Jurassic... Oh! Oh, crap. That caught me off guard out of nowhere. I was about to say something, but then that caught me off guard, that punch. I was like, oh, crap. Parker? Let the vampire eat. No, no, no. Don't stay down. Get involved, Parker. We want him to die. Yes. Get involved. No, no, no. Leave him. Leave him. Leave him. Yo, yo, Buffy is doing some work here. That's that vampire slaying we want to see, baby. No, what I was about to say before, before I got interrupted by a vampire, let's say, I really hope Jurassic World Dominion is good because I'm very excited for it. I love the Jurassic Park films. I even went out and bought the box set on 4K last year, even though I owned already all of them. Like, I'm very excited for it. Like, off topic, but you guys like my movie takes and movie reviews. Hopefully you do. And I like to keep them short and simple. Sometimes do little skits as reviews as well instead. But yeah, I got some skits planned as well on the way if you're excited. I got one for Kenobi and how that got green lit planned. I haven't shot it, but we'll see. But yeah, I'm just hoping it's good. I want to go have fun and listen. They're doing what Star Wars never did. They managed to bring all the OG characters back, have them together in scenes from what we've seen from the trailer, and make them interact with a new cast. But let's see if it works well in the story. But we're here to talk about Buffy, but this is just a side note. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the commentary. Please, please, please. My life. You owe her more than that. It's nothing. It's everything. You're everything. And I'm going to do whatever it takes to get you to forgive me. This is too good to be true. Do you think one day you might? No. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what the heck? <laughs> Oh, so it did happen. I'm guessing that was all psychological Buffy, stuff. Oh, no. I don't know what to say. After how I've treated you, and now I owe you my life. Bro, what the heck is happening? Forgiven. This ain't the Princess Bride, bro. This is Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Nah, nah, nah. Listen, I want Buffy. If that happens with Parker, I want her to warn all the girls on campus what Parker is like. Ruin his life, end his career before it even starts, before he even finishes his university, before he goes out and even tries to get a job. He doesn't deserve a career before it even starts. We're looking down on the townie. I'm the new bartender over at the pub. Got my lighter, my, <laughs> rag, my empathy face. Hey, at least, at least he's got a job on campus. Au contraire, mon frère. Mon frère means brother. There are men, better men, wherein. The mind is stronger than the penis. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing gonna beat the penis. <laughs> I love, I love. No look, 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 look. Look when, when, look when Willow says they are better men, and Xander's just nodding in the background and, and smiling. Better men, wherein <laughs> the mind is stronger than the penis. Nothing gonna beat the penis. Too loud. Very unseen. You know, most people go around. And I'm not saying you can't tunnel through me. I just think the other way's quicker. Bro, poor Riley, bro. He's had books dropped on his head by Buffy in episode one, I think, or two. And then now Buffy spilled his drink, his own drink on him. Like, obviously, I think they're setting up something in the future, maybe with Riley and Buffy. But Riley got along more with Willow 
in that little interaction because they had something more in common about psychology and Willow knew the content. But I guess they may be setting something here with the teacher's aid up, so maybe. In my defense, you do take up a lot of space. Don't even care what my father says. I'm sorry, what? Forget oh, that. come on, man. Yeah, I got some people waiting. Riley was about to say, I'm See a one-man gal. And then Buffy's like, See, I bet you guys are pissed off right now. I'm not watching the show. That's how Riley felt. We are the future of this country, and you keep the bowl of peanuts full. We are what these girls want. And, uh, four glasses. They keep rubbing in the Xander is not a college be, thing, eh? Because you're not getting a drop until I'm satisfied. Just give him a beer. Oh. <laughs> Unlucky Xander, man. Yeah, they keep rubbing in the Xander's not a college thing. It doesn't belong, like... Obviously, the Thanks. pub the pub job is going to be really good for him, obviously, to get um, involved in, I guess, somewhat the college lifestyle, but clearly he's still an outcast there, especially with this girl talking about her Delta, Alpha, Gamma, radiation, I don't know, freaking whatever it is, fraternity, I don't know, sorority, sorority is the girl's one, um, thing, and then this guy talking about guy stuff, and he's bringing up subjects that Xander has nothing to, like, doesn't even know about, so yeah. I wonder if this is going to be like the bad can band candy episode where there's something dodgy with the bee or drinks. Oh, I don't know, man. What he's just saying is you shouldn't be sad and alone right now. I mean, you're a very beautiful girl who should be covered with men. What? What? what, what, what? And... These guys look like they're lined up to jump in the pool. You know how they do the divey thingy where they're like in line? Look at them. There's like four of them stacked up lined up above you. Isn't that intimidating? These guys are creeps. Can we be those men? Donna. This is three and a half men, not two and a half. Yo, the way this chick is looking at Oz is not... I don't know, is there some sort of psychic connection right there or something? I don't know, the way she's looking at him, she's like sussing him out. I don't know if she likes him or there's something in common there or whatever. I reckon Oz senses something. Okay, so unfortunately, some construction and someone decided to let's turn on an Airbus A380 in the middle of the street. So I'm going to keep my mic on mute and whenever I need to commentate, I will unmute it because I don't want you guys hearing the Airbus A380 in the middle of the street right there, okay? So let's get right back into the episode. Then two. Oh, and this is weird. And creepy. Groovy. Buff, have you heard of this Veruca chick? Dresses like Faith, voice like an albatross. TV is a good thing. Bright colors. <laughs> Music. This is either a major and hangover right now or the bees having an everlasting effect on Buffy. What have you done with Buffy? Badness. You didn't. Not with Parker again? No. With four really smart guys. Four? <laughs> Willow oh. thinks it's a foursome. Oh. <laughs> oh, Buffy. Uh, uh, but getting dressed would be fun too. <laughs> hey, I like Buffy's PJs. Uh. Butterfly Buffy PJs. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Those of you who've done the reading, you already know. Yes. She read the reading. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Buffy oh. put Willow on the She'll spot. Willow, aka As Hermione, saying, on the spot. We won't be able to cover it all beyond the midterms. Now, if I've been unclear in any way, speak now. Yo, Buffy. yeah, yeah. This ain't now, a hangover. This go. is Buffy acting sure on the madness. From the TAs. Based sure. on that, choose three exams. Right, 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 so hand them to me at the start of the class on Monday. And we stop this show to bring you Breaking Bad. Some sort of meth lab going on. I wonder. I reckon it probably is the store guy running it like the bar owner he's the only guy in the background we've seen so far because it won't be those group of guys because they're doing it to themselves if they are and that's really stupid but i reckon it's the bar owner see ya that was such an awkward interaction with oz and willow that was so unusual clearly willow seeing how oz was looking at that girl the other night has affected her you stupid 
No, you. Want more singing? Want more beer? <laughs> you can tell, I reckon Sarah Michelle Gellar had fun um, acting out this episode. Like, the directors, the writers were probably like, hey, yo, SMG, again, you don't have to be Buffy this episode. You get to act primitive and like a caveman. <laughs> like, you get to act like a nutcase this episode. <laughs> Something different for once. And she pulls it off well, to be fair. That's SMG, man. Like, come on. Hey. <laughs> uh. Did you want something? Yes. I want to give you a piece of my mind. Willow about I'm to give Parker. I'm tired of Parker. you men and your madness. <laughs> Buffy's really hurting right now. Willow, I'm not sure I need to explain my actions here. But if that's what you want. Yes, followed by an admission of undeniable guilt, but go on. <laughs> but most are just two people passing through life, enriching or aggravating each other's lives briefly. Uh-huh. Go on. <laughs> go on. <laughs> and then go back to their lives the next day better for it, but never overanalyzing it or wanting it to be more than it was. Nah, this is Parker playing nice Parker here. This is manipulative Parker. He's trying to do something right here. Arrgh. Buffy and, and me assume that intimacy means to friendship and, and respect. Yeah. People shouldn't have to ask first. Are you going to be eyeing other prospects tomorrow? Like, you get where Parker's coming from as well. He's like, some people are okay with just, like, one night stands and they create something beautiful for one night and that's it. It's done. But Willow and Buffy came from, like, really an innocent and inexperienced side of things. So they meet, they probably think, like, the first time they get with someone and, like, share that bond, they think it's going to be everlasting and something that should last long term. Whereas Parker, I guess, is more experienced, I guess, in that. And he's like, some people in life just want that. Some people just want the one night stand. Listen, I don't agree with Parker. Like, in real life, like, I'm not the type of guy for one night stands. I am not that guy. I don't agree with that. That's not part of my moral code. I don't agree with one night stands. I'm more the type of, like, yeah, that's just not me. I like to get to know people before that. But yeah, I know friends or I know of people who have who have like F buddies and they say they're just friends, but they just get together once in a while, you know, just to have sex and no strings attached. And that's Parker as well. Sometimes they just want to share a lovely moment for one night and that's it. No strings attached. Some of you may agree with Parker in this instance and some of you may do that in life sometimes and have those type of friends. But that's just not for me. Like if I was that, I'm not that type of guy that I don't agree with one night stands and like f buddies and stuff like that just like no strings attached stuff that's just me that's just me that's just me i want to hear your thoughts on it i like share your thoughts in the comment section down below but i get where parker's coming from and i get where willow's coming from here people shouldn't have to preface casual sex with just so you know i'll never grow any older with you it takes the fire out of me yeah like some people can have sex without strings attached and getting intimate and like wanting a lot of a long lasting relationship some people just do it because it's yeah just Willow. beautiful moment for a second and that's it like not a second but depends how good your game is but like yeah you're a good friend nah nah he's giving her those eyes man he's giving her those parker eyes he's trying to set willow up buddy yep we got the caveman coming that's the beer effect the cavemen have arrived. They're gonna transition the rest of them, including Buffy. Why are we talking about beer? The guys are. Yeah, it was it was the bar owner. <laughs> the beer. <laughs> Neat, huh? Look at brother in law's a warlock. He showed me how to. Look at Happy is. No, no need. <laughs> He's like, I serve him that beer. I serve Buffy that beer. Uh, how much beer would you say a person would need to consume before they seriously start questing for fire? Relax, it'll wear off in a day or so. In a day or so, someone can get killed. Parker, bad. <laughs> I don't mean this in a bragging way, but I do get to know a lot of women. Well, getting to know people is good. I love that transition again. The show does tend to do that again. I forgot what the technique was called. When people say something and it transitions something off it, uh, opposite, it's like Parker, bad, bang, slamming on the slamming on the jib rock wall, bang, slamming on it, and then bang, we transition to a nice, quiet, mellow scene with Parker and Willow having an intimate, I don't know if it's intimate, but like having a personal conversation. I like it. 
I've yet to find a girl that I can just, you know, sit with. I'm with you there, Parker. Me, spewing whatever's on my mind. But I don't do the one night stand shit and lead them on. Comfortably in silence. Willow, can I tell you something kind of private? Bro, Parker's eyes. He's he's okay. gonna uh, he. Oh. Um, just. No. Enjoy talking with you. Nah, my man. My man is going through the ancient texts. He went to the restricted section to pull out these tactics. This is not modern football. This is ancient football. My man went to the old school tactics right now. He's doing an Arnold and Predator. They unloaded all the modern weapons on the guy. They did Hail Marys, deforestation, everything. Mini guns couldn't kill the motherfucker. Then Arnold had to go and pull out the old school things, man. He had to go primitive on that joint. This is what Parker's doing. He's pulling out the old school books right now, man. He's scraping the barrel. Arnold had to go primitive, you know, use the bow and arrow, everything. None of the minigun shit worked. Parker, man. Oh. Here. Just how gullible do you think I am? <laughs> Willow's too smart, man. Shy smile. The ability to talk openly even to me. You're unbelievable. <laughs> Willow putting him in his place. This isn't sharing. This isn't connecting. It's the pleasure principle. That's Willow just exposed Parker with the new Samsung QLED 8K TV right there. She exposed him in the highest quality possible. <laughs> this is IMAX screening right now. <laughs> That's right. I got your number, id boy. <laughs> About is how long before you can jump on my bone? Look, if you think wow, I mean, you men, it's all about the sex. <laughs> I tell you, men haven't changed since the dawn of time. <laughs> well, speaking of the dawn of time, <laughs> you can't have beer. <laughs> That's my title, Buffy. What be? <laughs> The way she delivers that, it's like so cute and childish. Beer! <laughs> Buffy strong. Yes. Buffy strong. Buffy get beer. Buffy get. <laughs> hey, she still has that slayer strength, yeah. <laughs> Giles, I'm fine, just get her. Yo, do you reckon Buffy recognized Willow there? Like something inside her still recognized, yo, that's my friend, and I gotta save her? Yo, is she gonna leave Parker to die in there? Help me. I can't breathe. Oh, this is a sad way to go out. Parker goes out with Buffy not really like thinking straight. Buffy, what do we do? Oh god. <laughs> Wait, she ain't just gonna leave him. Oh no, okay. She's gonna save him, but knocked him out anyway in the process. Just to get one back, you know. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that one or two days is gonna be a hectic one or two days before she transitions back. And all of them transition back. I'm sorry for how I treated you before. It was wrong of me. And Willow spoke some sense into him. I'm sorry. You were great tonight, really. I may not deserve this, but... Do you think you could forgive me? <laughs> She's gonna whack him again. Yep, yep. <laughs> She's just like, I wonder how that's gonna play out in the future as well. Like, is Buffy gonna get some sense into her? And then, like, is she gonna. Re oh, my camera went out of battery. Hopefully, you guys can still hear me. But, like, uh, it, it, and the episode just ended. But, um,. I'm just gonna speak without the camera now. Hopefully you guys are okay with that. Is Buffy gonna remember um, Like what happened? Like is she gonna go back or is Willow gonna have to remind her yo Parker's actually Apologize and he's actually remorseful and he feels sorry and then is she gonna remember that but is she gonna remember still hitting him as well? <laughs> and Parker's just gonna be like yo, I apologize. I poured my heart out and she still knocked me over the head So I'm gonna see I'm gonna be interested to see what, how that relationship goes. But other than that, that was like a okay episode in my opinion. It was just an okay episode. Another sort of like monster of the week type episode or issue of the week type episode. 
Um, no hints as well to the army or what they're doing um, on the campus, like gathering vampires or other creatures, um, or like demonic creatures or supernatural creatures, like last episode where we had them on Halloween night, and that was clever, including them, because they could get out um, and get away with it, sort of like a cosplay thing, but I'm surprised Oz wasn't as curious about it. But, um, yeah, it was an okay episode. It was fun seeing Sarah Michelle Gellar acting sort of like a caveman-like um, sort of persona, but... Um, I want the season to really kick into gear now. I want more overarching personal story. Like, I want to explore more the personal side of things or, like, see a main villain come into play here and someone really starting to cause havoc. Someone, some people, or some things starting to cause havoc. Uh, but it's sort of like day-to-day, -day, or I guess, issues on campus, which I'm fine with. I'm still having fun with it. I like the university campus vibe, but I think... The season is going to hopefully start picking up soon because this season's been a bit more campy and fun so far. But yeah, anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. I'm sorry my camera's off, but yeah, it just ran out of battery. As always, it's been your boy, The Moses. Take care. God bless. Peace.